I used a full face of Bare Minerals makeup and if you want to see how I got to this finished look, just keep watching. That was kind of weird. Oh well, keep watching. So to start off, I'm going to use the Primetime Original Foundation Primer. And I'm just going to put this all over. I used to work at Bare Minerals when I lived in Illinois. But the manager there was awful. So if you guys ever want to hear that story, let me know. I like this foundation. It's very like silicone-y. Um, does the job. Not my favorite. But I like it. Alright, next I'm going to use the Fairly Light 03 is my shade. This might be a tad dark for me because it's winter time right now. But it's just the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. This foundation is like a powder to cream, so I normally just dump it in the lid and swirl it, swirl it around with the beautiful finish brush. If I'm looking this way, I have a mirror, so if you're wondering. It's like sheer to medium coverage, so not too bad. Just gonna pour a little more in here. I like to put it over my eyelids too, kind of as a primer. Alright, so as you can see, it does a pretty good finish. It's not matte. It's just kind of a natural finish, I would say. Next, I'm going to go in with the original Mineral Veil Setting Powder. Just a loose setting powder. And I'm going to do the Flawless Face Brush to apply this. I only have a couple brushes from there. So, um, I only have one more to use. This kind of just makes it so it's not tacky at all. Um, not that it gets that tacky, but it is a little bit. So that just kind of helps set the foundation. To warm up the face, I'm going to use the All Over the Face Color in Warmth. This is also just a loose powder. And then this is the last brush I'll be using today. And this is just a tapered brush. to kind of put it under my cheekbones and around my forehead just to add some more color because I'm pretty pale. All right, that will do. Okay, so almost everything at Bare Minerals is a loose powder, so I'm going in with their blush in the shade Dusk. And I'm just going to use this random brush that my mom got me. I'm not sure where it's from. I think she got it in one of her Fat Fit and Fun boxes. It's just going to apply that to the apples on my cheek. Cheeks. I like this color quite a lot. And these, all their products honestly last forever since they are loose powders. It takes forever to go through them. I've had these for about a year now and I've barely made a dent. Alright, just gonna add a little more. 
Next, this is one of my favorite products from them. This is a Turn On Gold Highlighter. This is a loose powder, and I just think it's so pretty. It's, it can be really natural, but you can also wet the brush to really intensify it. It's just going to apply this. Oh, I love that. Like, oh, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. I'm just going to add a little to my nose. Cupid's bow. And a little to the forehead. Alright, so I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer for the eye. Okay, so I don't have any brow products. So I'm just going to use the Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure Palette. I'm going to go in with... Oh, sorry. Let's see these two colors, Wheat and Good Spirits. I'm going to take my Morphe E29 brush and I'm actually going to go in with Wheat and Boardroom because I think those might match a little bit better than the one I said before. I'm just going to do some light strokes, nothing too heavy. Kind of brush through it then once I lay down the color. Eyeshadow is always a good product to use if you don't have any actual brow products. Essentially it's the same thing. Alright, so there's one eyebrow. It's kind of dark, but it will do. So I'm just going to do my next one off camera. Alright, the eyebrows are done. So next I'm going to take the 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. So this can be used as... Oops, sorry, it's upside down. Um, this can be used as an eye primer or eyeshadow alone. It's definitely a different formula. I've never seen anything like it before. It goes on as a cream and then once you like blend it out, it dries down like a powder. But it works pretty good. Not my favorite eye primer. It kind of has glitters in it. So, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. But, it will do. So this product doesn't really need to be set, so that's nice. So next I'm just going to go in with the same palette I was using before and use, let's see, I want to go for kind of like a coppery eye today, coppery smoky eye. Um, I'm going to go in with number five, Wheat, as a transition shade. I'm just taking my E27 brush. And gonna blend it kind of in the crease area. All right. So it's kind of looking a little crazy right now, so I'm going to go in with number 8 Sugar Cookie, same brush, and just kind of put that on my brow bone and blend it out. Alright, it's looking a little bit better. Um, I do have some loose shadows too that I kind of wanted to play with. Let's see. I have Queen Tiffany. I don't know if I can really show you guys that good. It's like a shimmery taupe color. And then I also have chai latte. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of this color actually. Um, this one's a matte color. 
I'm going to be taking my Morphe E22 brush and putting this a little bit lower on the lid. Just taking it in the crease and putting it back and forth to kind of deepen it up. Next, I'm going to be taking number 12, Good Spirits, and putting it even deeper in the corner and crease to deepen up the look. I'm using the same brush too. I'm liking the way it's starting to look. All right, next I'm gonna take number six, Boredom, this dark one right here, and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner and a little bit on the lower lash line. I'm taking my Morphe E36 brush. So I'm just dragging that dark brown from the outer to like halfway and then I'm going to take Good Spirits, number 12 again, same brush and then do from halfway to the inner. And for the last color, I'm just going to take my finger and take number 4 here, I really like this color, um, it's called Stellar. And I'm going to apply that to the center of the lid. Next I'm going to take just another one of these unicorn horn brushes and apply some of the same highlighter I did before to the inner corners of my eyes and to the brow bone. Alright, so that's it for the eyeshadow. I don't think I want to do an eyeliner today. So I'm just going to go in with the Lash Topia Makeup Volumizing Mascara. This is just a sample size I got when I bought some things the last time I was there. And I really like it. I think it does a good job. So I'm just going to apply this quick to my upper and lower lashes. And to finish off the look is lips. So I'm going to go in with their Gen Nude Borderline Lip Liner and just line my lips. I like to kind of flatten them like that because I find it's easier to 
keep them straight, the line straight. Now that they're lined, I'm going to go in one of my favorite colors they have is Infamous. It's the matte liquid lipstick. Um, their liquid lipsticks are just one of my favorite formulas. They're very soft and creamy on the lips. Very comfortable. They do transfer a little bit. So if you don't mind that, I definitely suggest Bare Minerals um, liquid lipsticks. And they smell like cake. <laughs> Alright, so that completes the look. Um, I really enjoy Bare Minerals products, especially the lip glosses and lipstick. They smell good, they feel great. Um, their mascara I really enjoy, and their eyeshadows are really pretty, and the highlighter I really like. The foundation is great too, especially if you like something that doesn't feel caked on. It's very light, and it does give you coverage. Now, you can still see a couple blemishes, but for the most part, it covers them up good without making your skin look like a mask. So I'll try to link everything I can below. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave any comments, suggestions, um, anything else you want to see. Like and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!